For scientists who want to contribute in a significant way to the progress of knowledge, it currently makes no sense to work alone, secluded within one's own laboratory. One has to collaborate to exchange ideas, to combine different approaches, and therefore to network with peer scientists. In 2014, Patrick England, Institute Pasteur in Paris, and Thomas Jowett, University of Manchester, gathered a group of fellow scientists working in the field of molecular scale biophysics with the idea of setting up an international network of research infrastructures. Their goal was to unlock new research potential, share ideas and methods, and challenge themselves to tackle crucial biological phenomena. Very often in scientific activity, you don't necessarily have the solution at hand, and so you need to interact with other colleagues. What I noticed was that in my field, in the field of molecular biophysics, uh, there wasn't a community that uh, really was covering this, uh, this field. We thought it would be great to develop a community of like-minded people who are biophysicists, who have all this kit, um, and not necessarily people to talk to about it. We thought we'd put a mail out to the people we knew, which was only about probably 30, 40 people. Um, and they all turned up for the meeting we organized and they all agreed this would be a great idea. But it became apparent that there's lots of people we weren't reaching um, and lots of people we could get in contact with um, who we couldn't do without some funding. Rather than waiting for a miracle to occur or something to come, well, uh, I decided to go one step forward, uh, not alone, but with uh, colleagues, and we decided to actually set up this community and launch this network. Arbre Mobieu is an open network connecting more than 300 researchers, working at over 170 research infrastructures, laboratories and facilities from 30 countries throughout Europe and beyond. The network was funded in 2016 by COST, European Cooperation in Science and Technology. Abramobieu relies on four pillars. First, Abramobieu allows the development of innovative and integrative biophysical approaches in order to decipher biological phenomena. Second, Abramobieu disseminates knowledge via training schools or workshops or short-term scientific missions. The third pillar is transnational access. That means Abramobieu facilitates the access to instrumentation and expertise spread all over Europe. And finally, Abramobieu cooperates very closely with manufacturers and this win-win situation leads to the fact that uh, new instruments, for example, can really be uh, developed according to the demands and the requirements of the biophysical community. The Arbre Mobieu community has been meeting annually at large and lively conferences that have taken place in different European cities. This conference and the three conferences we had before, so Porto, Warsaw, uh, Zagreb and now uh, Prague, this conference would not have been possible without uh, the support from the Cost Action. And these four conferences gave a chance to, I would say, more than 200 individuals to come and to meet and to share their expertise, their knowledge and uh, the equipment they have and what they are prepared to, to share with other people. There is a lot of talks about small things which make the difference between successful and unsuccessful experiments and very in-depth discussion during the discussion after the talks, but also during the coffee breaks, which is really different from regular scientific uh, congresses when you mostly involved in the results, not in the methods. So today at this meeting, we are going to be hosting a live demonstration of our mass photometer, where we're going to be measuring single molecules and determining the mass of them to a very high degree of precision. Having the access to scientists from across Europe especially to show them new technologies that private companies have developed, show them the applications that this can really have some benefit for, for their own research, and importantly to have the feedback directly from these customers to show how we can improve our systems, especially on the software and the hardware front, to make their experiments more successful in the future. Arbre Mobieu has been very active in broadly disseminating knowledge, notably through the organization of a successful program of workshops and training schools. When we set up the project, uh, we said that we would have organized uh, uh, one training school per year, 
But uh, given the fact that uh, Arbre uh, is a large community and int uh, interacts with other European community, we've been able uh, to co-found, to co-organize 16 uh, training school in this entire uh, cost period. We were able to, um, to train 270 uh, trainees from all over the countries in Europe, but also people coming from the Middle East and the United States. The short-term scientific missions program has been particularly successful, with seven calls launched in four years and 52 missions funded. The STSM program promotes scientific collaboration the exchange of expertise and integration between technologies. STSM stands for Short-Term Scientific Mission, which are uh, in general short visits ranging from five days, one week, two weeks to two months, three months, to uh, another lab in another country and uh, that are being supported by the COST Association. Being part in uh, COST Action and um, especially taking part in STSM helps in the um, development of different uh, scientific activities resulting further publications and projects. And um, on the other hand, networking and sharing information is also a great benefit for scientists. And moreover, the participants has chance to get to know a new culture in another country. The development of scientific instrumentation, methodological benchmarking and ongoing partnerships with instrument developers has been a key component of the network's successful outcome. Within Working Group 4, we performed three benchmarking studies. One was dedicated to CT spectroscopy, one to ITC, and one to MST. And for example, especially the MST benchmarking study was a pretty large study involving, for example, around 40 instruments. So this benchmarking study is really a representative one and will give interesting results that will soon be published. We are also putting a lot of effort in the so-called SOP, Standard Operational Procedure, for as much measurements as we can deal with. We have already six and we aim at more. And that will, we hope, uh, help everybody to work under the same principles and procedures and therefore to produce higher quality. I think one of the, the main achievements of this network is that it can group plenty of people which are all relevant scientists that know the that know very well the science, but be because you group them together, then you begin to have power. If I look backwards, like four or five years ago, my environment was very limited. I had some collaborations, but it was limited to people that I knew before. So this uh, association, this the group of uh, scientists, provides a means to establish new networks. My network is much broader, and like that I can um, yeah, do my research, my day-to-day -day work much better because I know uh, more people uh, who uh, I can ask for help, uh, for collaborations. Uh. This organization gave me the possibility to continue my biophysical research topic at a molecular scale, which is very important in receptor-oriented cancer therapy. And um, uh, moreover, I had the chance to spend uh, six months in Austria and work, and work together with experts in the life cell single molecule microscopy. Uh, one important activity that I do is organization of a school of biophysics in Croatia. It was supported by the network, attended by the students from the network. It will be attended in future again by the people from the network. So it really was uh, well invested Time. The idea was right. I mean, it wasn't just, uh, you know, something like uh, to make a club of uh, friends uh, doing the same things. Uh, we are very heterogeneous, but we use the same technique to reply to different answers, different biological answers, um, which go from the biology to medicine to engineering. Once created a network, it's like a seed in the ground, so it's getting bigger and stronger. So it's a live network and I would say that the personal contacts that we created, uh, um, enthusiasm and uh, motivation and uh, constant challenges uh, will just keep us to stay connected and to work together in the future. The network originally funded by COST will continue to be active, providing access to cutting-edge instrumentation, 
developing novel methodologies and good practice, and by disseminating knowledge through training schools, networking, and pursuing fruitful collaborations. What we've managed to do um, with COS is generate um, a large momentum with all the people that are involved, and we aim to continue that momentum through uh, on into the future. We really want to set a consolidated uh, legal basis for our network, uh, which would, if it works, allow us to, to have a consolidated, integrated infrastructure, as the European Commission calls it. And uh, so the idea is that, like this, we will try and identify potential uh, other sources of, uh, of funding and, and hopefully be able to maintain and expand and develop this community in the next uh, few years.